What up, y'all? This is Zircon signing back at that Doki Doki Literature Club. Now we, now where we left off is we were all reading each other's poems, and uh, we left, we got done with Natsuki and Monica, and now we're on to the other two. So let's see who. Ooh, ah, something in my eye. <clears throat> and excuse my deep voice, I just woke up, so I'm a little bit groggy. But anyways, I'm here to do what needs to be done. <clears throat> da, da, da. Um, da, da, da. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, um. Oh, oh. So sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I, I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay, this is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be re after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad? No. It, did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Someone's getting a little off. Someone's getting a little hotty. Alright. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the express ex expressiveness are weakened. Well, geez, maybe I should pay attention to the words I pick most mostly then. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Experts are nice. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing in even a simple poem. Not just finding them, building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. Because of the cutesy stuff, right? I'm pretty sure of that. Alright. Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Like, it's actually fine. You can talk like that about people. It's just... Just don't start snickering and... Actually being rude behind someone's back. I'm, I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, me, or to Natsuki. Yeah, this girl's a bit confusing. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Or, or what? Oh, that is what it, mm, Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? <clears throat> so that's how we're starting off the poem. With ghosts. And this girl must love her horror. Alright, ghosts under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminating, illuminate beneath the um, amber globe. Bathing. It must be this one. The last... What? Um, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have was... Is that supposed to be... 
I'm confused now. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Call. What? What? What's with this bathing? There's nothing to bathe in except maybe the hue. I like. Maybe that's it. Bathing in the hue? Yeah, it's still confu- it's just kind of confusing. <laughs> I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That was very confusing. Da 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 da. I... I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. It's not the handwriting, I like the handwriting. It's just that I was confused about the bathe part. What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time to read it. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's 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 a relief. Also, I like the poem. I don't know if I liked it or disliked it because it was so confusing. I guess that's just how my brain process works. It might have been easy for for you other, some of you other people, but not for this guy. Not this guy. No. Even though it's even though it's short, it was really descriptive. He wasn't too short. I I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I said. Easy? Mild, easy to digest? What kind of poems do you write? Shakespeare style? Oh dear lord, this ought to be good. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? No, she's into the horror. Uh, actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Mr. Zerg. Really? I must have totally missed the point. I... Yeah, I, I've missed the frickin' point. Like, what the heck? Okay. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after... Ah! Why? Problems! 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 Ah! Help! Alright, there we go. <laughs> I'm done. That hurt, though. Not the itching. Just the itch. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember the poems that often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being simple symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go over the past. Is this what happened to you in the past? Mm. Ah! Sorry. Mm. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more than solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. That's indeed impressive. How much thought do you put into these poems? Good God. I could not write a poem that anywhere near that well, because I don't have that kind of brain process. Okay. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me think happy that you I think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> Also, is that voice a little bit too quiet for you guys? I'll work on that. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Who should I... Oh, there's only one person left to show, and that's Sayori. Da, 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 da. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Mr. Zerk! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, 
You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. I have a feeling that I'm going to run into the same kind of poem. And I'm going to be very, very confused. Probably more confused from than Yuri poem. But we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Gee. Jeez. I almost did the wrong voice there. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Mr. Zerk poem! <laughs> oh, this girl! Wow! Okay, um... And that's and that makes it feel extra special. This, yeah, you can definitely tell that this girl has a hard, hard crush on me. Why are we so dumb to see it? Uh, I guess that's just about every man, every uh male, main male character in visual novels, especially the romance ones. But anyways, like, I can feel your feelings in it. And Siri hugs the street, uh, the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy that just, just that you wrote it. I'm really happy that, I can't read, I can't read. Okay, I'm really happy that just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're, you, you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? See? Oh yes, see? It's like I said before, Mrs. Eric. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Mm, trying new things like this for the for other people. That's something that only great people will do. Great! Yep. Thanks, Sayori. <laughs> this girl, I swear. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all? Yeah! And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold... I'm gonna hold you to that then. I told you I just woke up and I'm... Groggy! Alright. That was weird. Okay. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Oh god, no. I'm afraid. I am so afraid. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Looks like I got more construction work somewhere. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow... I don't have to read in her voice. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning that makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleep from the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you, tr are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. (laughs) 
Oh, boy. The last part. Okay, okay. She did it a lot better than I thought she would. Well, I mean, she is part of the literature club, but anyways, hey. <clears throat> Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? N no. Just a little bit. <laughs> oh goodness. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. What? I swear this girl. Wow. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. Yeah. I want breakfast. You're not kidding. I want breakfast too. Seriously, I actually haven't had breakfast yet. I haven't had breakfast yet. Though I don't think I'll be having breakfast because I got a lot of stuff I need to do before work. Jeez. Okay. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna uh, and I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Well, that's over with. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room, but that was a little bit more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting, and my eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furry in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this? Oh. What's with this language? Uh, um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess he could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Cute? Did you completely miss the sim symbolism in or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I, I just meant the, the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something to s nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. <laughs> Sayori liked it. Sayori will like anything! That's not a joke. Sayori will like anything. And Mr. Zerk did too. So, based on that, I, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, ex excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent l a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Good God, Yuri, whoa! Way to be aggressive! 
which I haven't. And Mr. Zerk liked my poem too, you know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member here, eh? We got a little bit of a cat fight going on here. Uh, that's not what I... Uh, you're, you're just... Yuri stands up as... <laughs> How did this turn into this? How did poem reading turn into this? Why? Oh, maybe you're just jealous that Mr. Zerk appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Uh, huh? Uh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? They're not gonna come to me and ask me, uh, whose poem I like better. Oh, d -d -d dear, dear, um. I, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately get out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose booze magically grew a size bigger as soon as Mr. Zerk started showing up. Jeez! Flat as justice, by the way. Good God! Uh, Natsuki? Uh... Um, Natsuki, that's a little... Whoa! This doesn't involve you! Um... I, I don't like fighting... I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. I thought so. M Mr. Zerk, she she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. How me explain that her to her, Mr. Zerk. Wait, there's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. Oh dear. Lerdok, are they really gonna ask? It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Mr. Zerk? Um... That, that, um, well, uh, that, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but... Who, who, whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Um. Out here. This turned out. This turned out to be one interesting cat fight, but I'm gonna have to leave it off here, okay, guys? Because I am right out of time for this one. Yeah, I've now I I'm finally getting myself set to a actual time limit on recording time. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. If you like this video, press that like button, like a minute, and as always, stay active and stay connected, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Zircon signing out. Bye, y'all.